Hey guys, Nick Eatman here along with David Hellman. We're popping in at the Senior Bowl in Mobile. Has to. We obviously getting a chance to see these players out here, North and South teams. A lot of these uh, seniors ready for the draft and getting a good chance to get a, a lot of looks here in front of scouts and, and coaches. One of those front office personnel guys that we got a chance to talk to, like we always do, Stephen Jones, Cowboys uh, Chief Operating Officer, and, and, and David, he, he did meet with us here a little bit for about 10 minutes. What was the number one thing that kind of came out of that from a Cowboys perspective? Yeah, I think the number one thing is – it's such a 365-day-a-year news cycle, right, is that I don't even know if there's been time right. for any new developments. I guess if I had to start with one, it's shockingly the Dallas Cowboys plan on making Dak Prescott their number one priority in the offseason. Stephen Jones kind of confirmed that. Stop asking me about trading up for Joe Burrow. I don't think it's going to happen. The Cowboys are going to get Dak Prescott done. Don't ask me when it's going to happen, but it's pretty obvious that that's a big priority for them. Well, you don't want people to stop asking you that, especially talking about Joe Burrow. I think, you know, one of the biggest differences here is that usually the Senior Bowls, the first time we've talked to, you know, coaches and scouts since the end of the season, obviously with the, with the new uh, coach, uh, Mike McCarthy, being here and his staff, which they're not actually in Mobile, but we've had press conferences. And so there's not a ton of, of new things that we were able to talk to Stephen about. One of them that I thought was interesting, we did uh, talk about the philosophy changes, you know, is the new scheme, is it? Are we going to fit players around the scheme? Are they going to just get good football players in? And McCarthy said last week, we're going to get good players. We know what a Dallas Cowboy football player looks like. That's the guy we want, tall, long, athletic. And then we'll fit scheme around him. I think that's kind of a new and refreshing yeah. stance here. Which, I mean, you know, we'll see what it looks like. We don't have a lot in the way of detail as of yet. But it sounds like Mike McCarthy is going to let the Cowboys scouting department kind of cook. Just get in there, cook, find us some players. You do that part and we'll coach them. And that is definitely a departure in attitude from the Jason Garrett, Rod Marinelli era. We've talked so much about the influence that those guys have. I'm sure McCarthy and his staff are going to have an influence too. But it seems like there's going to be much more emphasis on letting the scouting staff handle that. And, and if that's the way it goes, I think that's really exciting. Yeah, I, I do too. And, and he, he did mention Rod Marinelli. We know the kind of scheme that he's had. And I, I just don't think that the Cowboys are going to be pigeonholed by anybody. Mike Nolan has played through some 3-4. He's played 4-3. He's actually played some in the middle of a game. He can kind of uh, change different schemes, which is which is really good. So if you're not going to say, well, this guy's not a good scheme fit. Boy, we hate that, that term, no, not a good scheme no fit. That, there's been some really good players. Players that are going to be playing in the Super Bowl next week. That you know, the, an LSU guy for sure, Tyron Matthew. That was not supposed to be a good scheme fit, but he's a pretty good fit for for the Chiefs. And I think that that those are some guys. Those are some examples of like just get a, just give me some just good players. Find, find us some good players. There's a lot of them here. The rosters are loaded. So two more days of practice. Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, hopefully the Cowboys scouting department is going to have an eye on all of them. Now, a couple of uh, guys we, we have uh, talked about, just a couple of Jasons here. Jason Garrett, we saw him at the airport. He's here, obviously new offensive coordinator for the Giants. And, and, and Stephen Jones talked about him. Uh, he's basically saying hey, he's got some pretty good weapons over there, some young guys in New York, got to face them twice a year. But he's definitely happy about that. Another Jason we talked about, Jason Witten. Very short answer on that one. No comment. No comment. Not yet, which, hey, it's only January feel like uh you know Witt said he's going to take his time with that I would imagine we'll hear something about it sooner rather than later but uh Steven wasn't quite ready to talk about it yet he did say that he thinks there's 10 or 11 offensive starters back and wonder yeah, that's interesting with Jason Witten being one of those guys but it doesn't look like he's going to be a part of this and maybe they're already kind of considering Blake Jarwin as, as a starter sure. there uh we'll see though if if you know what the future holds for uh, Jason Witten but obviously uh here for the first day of practice really good stuff out here and we're as we get more into this and I know you'll have a draft show uh um, coming up here, we'll have a couple of quick hits on the sideline after practices. You get a chance to really dive into these some of these players. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we watched one already. Like I said, there's five more to go. A lot of good players here. If you're following along, I encourage you to get to know these names. should be a good time. All right, that's it for now from the Senior Bowl. David Hellman, Nick Eben. We'll see you next time on DallasCowboys.com.